hi guys welcome back to my channel happy to have you guys back here again with me this week means everyone is all nice and safe i can't emphasize us or you need to be safe nowadays guys today i went to the supermarket and this is my procedure leaving the house right now as soon as i'm preparing to go i don't know why i have to stand at the window i have to keep looking outside a little bit first then put on what i need to put on and then i head out I walk with my little my little alcohol spray i spray the i spray the handle at the doors i spray the car i sp i put on my mask ah jeez it's like <laughs> it's like an adventure nowadays just to leave your house but anyway today i'm gonna be making a uh, fried pork it's it's a to be honest with you it's an asian style i have to give my wife credit for for, for this um recipe because when i met her she used to always be cooking it or if we go to an asian restaurant i always add a griot so it's griot but i did it the jamaican way and uh oh sorry if it, i keep rumbling but i have to big up my subscribers thank you guys thank you for your support i got a couple of extra subscribers this week i'm very happy at the surge i'm happy that you guys are supporting me liking my stuff i appreciate you i appreciate you a lot so this fried pork that i'm looking about today it's it's an oven fried pork as i told you it's an asian style oven fried pork which i did it the jamaican way of course you don't have to do that jamaican of course but um you guys gonna learn it. It's it's very delicious. Very, very delicious. You're gonna love it. it Alright guys. Alright guys. Um let's take the liberty. See, as we tell you before. Cut up the pork, about three pounds of pork they have and we cut up the pork and all of them stuff there already. Wash it, clean it, everything. And we cut up the onion, my, my thyme and my garlic and my pepper and my ginger and everything. Line up to put the seed, not the pork, you know. But um forget some ingredients, may end up left with my ingredients and still forgot certain ingredients of my still need, like scallion. Ah, I don't know, shopping, I tell you. And all right, I'm going to start with my powder seasoning then. All right, I'm going to have some sazam. About three heights. This, I need to brown into, even though it will contradict itself, but the browning needed all right just enough i want it too i want it too dark all right lemon powder all right i should get some lemon pepper fresh red pepper pimento Africa. Guys, can't let cayenne pepper no time. Alright. And then ha, this for me <coughs> give it an added touch. Yeah, the jerk sauce, I need some added touch right now, trust me. All right, <clears throat> the ginger. All right, let me have the ginger cut. Drop them in a hit. Cover some fat. Pepper. Thyme. And some of the garlic and crush them a little bit. and some onion and that's basically it guys all i have to do right now i just mix these round mix these round look at that i 
And you don't have to do too much with this right now, you know. You don't have to do too much with the whole mix round and all of that stuff. And you don't have to plan to soak in you know, on time or nothing at all because you have to put it. You have to put it in the pot right now to make it steam for about 20-25 minutes. So I'm gonna do now, I just basically transfer all of this stuff from the season up. See? Transfer them in our pot. Then I do nothing else to them more than just turn on the stove. Turn it to about high. 20 25 minutes. Yeah, all depend. You don't want to steam too much because you want something you're gonna put in the oven. Alright? But this is good. That's it. That's the next step. Once again, I have to make sure to mention because I don't want to get killed. This recipe and my wife may get it from originally. I flip it around a little bit, Jamaicanize it, but it'll come from her. Alright? Here? Yeah, man. She got it. Yeah, man. My, why did I wait for the, 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 the pork to go on steam, you know? I did I, I, I search out all my next movie to go and watch right now. Alright. See? Put the timer. Uh, 8 minutes left to steam. What are the 20 minutes of my gate? And look how it's pretty already. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm going to do a cover up the pot, make it go on, continue the steam and all for the, for the remainder of the time. Good to go. Yeah, after 20 minutes, you can turn off the fire right now. Ah, yeah, man. It's ready. So, after this, I'm going to just make it stay and cool, make it stay and cool for it and, and just go and soak with the, the, the seasoning the same way for about one next 10 15 minutes. All right, and then all we're gonna do, we're gonna get one file container, we're gonna spray some oil spray in it and just transfer the pork, shake off the extra liquid and just transfer the pork, the pork into the file container and put it in the oven. All right, and then we're gonna make it stay in the oven for the next 20 minutes or, or, or 20 20. 30 minutes, you need to get a nice color and either you get a you get couple minutes of cooking already, then you'll get some more in the oven. So, trust me, it's gonna taste good, it's gonna delicious, it's gonna colorful, it's gonna spa. Just wait, you will see. Yeah, man. It's ready, ready, ready right now for transfer into the container. We just need to give it a couple of minutes for just simmer. All right, after I after let it stand for about 10 minutes, after I turn off the stove, the time to transfer them into the file container right now. You get some spray though, I'll spray, and you spray the container. That's the LP, that's in a stick like that, you understand? And now all you need to do, I just transfer your pork. Shake off the liquid off of it. You want a little bit of liquid, but no, you don't want it. Fry, I go fry, you know. At the frying stage, it's not going on right now. And at the cooking stage. All right? Just spray. Put in all of them pieces in it. After my the Just take the pork. All right. After we transfer the pork into the container, some of the same oil spray, the spray over it. It's the olive oil right now. So you just spray over it because you need some of the oil to fry. Alright? Mix them around. Make sure that the oil coat it. Give them a little space for themselves so that they can get. Good touch of the heat. All right, see there. Right now, all you need to do right now, I put this in the oven for our next. It all depends on the color, as I say, but our next 20, 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah. All... You don't need more than half an hour. All right, I put it in the oven right now. And in the meantime, very important, because the next step, I'm going to be one of the most. 
and one of the most vital steps, one of the most important steps you can this you need to take note of this. We are cut up some sweet pepper, some scotch bonnet pepper, and some onion. Because as soon as I take it out of the, the fire, as soon as I take it out of the oven, like when it finished with the oven, you need to dump those on it right away so the heat and the, and the, and the meat can help just smother with the vegetable. Straight, straight, straight. Yo, I can't wait for this food to be done right now. I love grill. Love grill. Love this, this pork I'm doing right now. You're going you to love it. I'm going to chop up the vegetables them right now. Put up my onion already. All right, I have all of my vegetables um, ready right now for just dumping for the pork as soon as they come out of the oven. Yo, if you have the, if you have the pork in it, if you decide to do the pork for like half an hour in the oven, you don't know you need to, to turn it at some point, like half, halfway in between. So if, for half an hour you get, you have to turn it like 15 minutes in. All right, but trust me, by half an hour, everything should be done. Remember me tell you. Yeah, me just turn them a while ago. We'll put them back in the, in the oven now. All right, we make it stay in there for the, the full half an hour. So, trust me, I time to take it out right now. Ah, Jesus. This is beautiful. Turn up the stove. This, three relic little part right now. I put some of the season them in. Put the story roll. The story roll. The rest in. Uh, see it? Remember, you know, guys, this has to go in it when it's hot. You know? Pile them up on top of them one either. Let it eat. Or the meat. Help smother the, 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 the. Help smother the vegetables. Okay, just cover him up. You can spread him out back until you're done. Okay, you know, you know, like a pile. Excellent. Excellent. Let's make it stay like this. Be like, just basically until you're ready to serve it. But, um, probably about at least 10 minutes. You have to eat at least 10 minutes again for all the, the vegetables, them just smother with the, with the meat. All right? So, this right now is. All done. Trust me. All done. Hello guys, I wanted to thank you. Thank you guys for joining me another week again. This right now, I eat. Just to be honest with you, every minute I have to cut one. Delicious, yo! Can't wait, can't wait to eat, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share my video, guys. This one, you no know, can't miss it. Try, you know, definitely need to try this. May I tell you no? Very good. No, no. Here you go. Yo, I know that love grill and pass them bedtime because I cook this kind of late. But I know that I couldn't wait to get peace and I have to get them peace. My kids, them, one love. This, mm. talk about peace with them. Ha! Ah! Mm. Peace with me? Oh, man. Daddy, mm. this is so good. I know, I know. <laughs>